Hi, in this video we are going to continue to develop theme block 02. This is a list of suggestions how we should use this video. Um, in the previous video we have applied block 02 theme to lab 3 and uh, of course you only have the template and everything is gone, the layout is gone. So in this video we are going to continue okay, to make sure that the layout is there and um, the rest of the stuff will happen. The, the notes for this web page can be found on this website oh, sorry, the, the notes for this project can be found on this website and it's loaded here. If you want to know exactly what I've been doing, you will need to go to a website called Codex WordPress.org. This is the library for WordPress and all the WordPress functions can be found there. You will have to read it. Up. It's impossible to explain all this in a video. So we just quickly copy and paste the code and if you want to know exactly the meaning of this function, each function you will have to check the the codex page. Okay, so we have uploaded our files here. We will need to split the index.php into different files. Okay. So we are going to create a couple of empty files. The first file is going to be called header.php. The next, um, so in the header, I'm going to create all the files first and then I'm going to start copying things. Or you can do it step by step. Okay, let's do it step by step. So I have a header file and I have my um, index file here. Okay, let me close my ag002 and style.css so that they won't, you won't confuse them um, because I, this file is on the server and this file is on the client. And I don't want to confuse those files. So let me double click on index.htm. So this is your index.htm on the server and header is not saved yet okay okay so i want to copy part of index.php into header dot uh, part of index.php into header.php so i'm going to just go from put a cursor there and then scroll down to add up end of header container, press the shift key to select everything, control X to control X to cut and then control V to paste, to cut and paste into header.php, save okay so your header.php will appear here when you use control S to save come back here and reload nothing will happen if something happens that means you did something wrong okay because basically what I did was just hmm that's not good okay I don't know why that happens but it's okay so you have to come here and he enter you shouldn't see anything happening okay because all you did was split the index file into two parts okay so now we have a choice we can split um, the index file into different parts or or we can um, oh sorry let me save the index first control s to save and try to hit that again okay sorry you should index um, it should change because because you after you split the two parts you have not um, added the index page okay so you need to do something for the for the index page you need to create a function called get header on top of the index page 
then save then you will load the header okay yep you need to do that okay so now you have two options one option is to so so basically what you do is is split index into two files and then you load your header okay if you want to know the meaning of the get header you have to go to codex and actually search for it and read the documentation I'm sorry there's no other way around it you are not going to I just impossible for me to read this for you in the video so you have to read that okay all right so next step is you can choose to split index.html index.php in different files or start to edit your header okay I choose to edit my header first both way will work okay so certain things like this kind of things you can replace them with PHP code okay so let's start doing that like what is the character set you can do that and then certain things like the title you should actually load the title instead of hard coding okay so load the title check out what these two function the uh, this, what, what these two functions do and um, we need to add an extra function to load some information and um, most importantly you need your style sheet to be loaded okay save Control S to save. Now, after you load your style sheet, when you reload, hey, you have your style sheet. Okay, so the layout is there. It's still ugly, but um, it still does nothing. But at least the style sheet is there. So let's move on. Okay, in the body, we can do a couple of stuff. Okay, but this video is getting too long, so I going to st stop here in the next video we are going to continue to um, add code to the body so that um, is going to load the blog information and things like that okay all right thanks for watching we'll continue in the next video